Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I am outside, it's a beautiful day. I am being photographed right now by my Paranafi drone. And I wanna talk about the possibility of any of you who may be interested in aerial photography, what you need to consider getting. What about if you don't know how to fly at all? Well, you need to buy a simple drone. Don't spend too much money, but get one that has GPS lock. In other words, my favorite brands, as you very well know, is the Parrot brand. And I have the Parrot Bebop 1s, or 3.0 as they are called, and the Parrot Bebop 2. You can get any of those for a very little amount of money. Not hundreds of dollars, but basically maybe no more than $200 max. So you will learn how to fly with those entry-level drones. They have excellent video capabilities, okay? But when you get serious about real photography, you will need a serious drone. Right now, I'm recording myself talking with the Paranafi. It is a 4K video. I'm shooting right now at 4K. But the camera also has a 21 megapixel camera that shoots in RAW format and produces amazing results, which you can then edit in Lightroom or whatever editor of your choice. Now, let me tell you, right now, the wind is tossing the bird around a little bit. And I bet you, you can't even tell. You might see the image moving a little bit left and right, but you can't even tell. So you need to learn how to fly first. That means master the basic functions of an aircraft. That would be yawing. That would be forward and back motion and rising and falling. And once you accomplish that and you feel comfortable, if you are a gamer and you know how to use a controller and you're using uh, maybe some kind of a, flight simulator type software you're there already almost so again if you're a raw beginner or a experienced flyer and you really want to get away from just the fun of flying and start taking some beautiful aerial photographs listen there's no way you're going to get that camera 100 feet high when you're hiking you need a camera drone and you need a high quality camera drone of course dji drones are the best in the market but they are very costly this anafi will cost you about 550 dollars with everything you need if you buy it brand spanking new maybe almost 700 dollars it is carried by best buy if you want to really get serious into this and you want to learn how to do thermal imaging there's an anafi thermal as well dual camera type drone but what i have here is just the plain 4k camera drone from anafi and like you see, it's just sitting right there staring at me. Now, if I want to raise or lower the gimbal, I just use the control. We're going to look up. And we're looking above the horizon, folks, which is impossible to do with most drones. In fact, I don't know many that can do that. We can look all the way up. I'm not going to bore you with the all the way up version but we'll look at it anyway here we go that's straight up i can see some um, trails from some aircraft up in the sky we'll bring it back down until we get it framed on me maybe we'll look down a little bit of course any other camera drone with a good gimbal system can look down so we're not going to bore you with that so what i want you guys to to get is that you have to learn how to yaw left right and remember i'm staring at me so the directional commands are going to be reversed so you have to master that when you hit forward it's going to come toward you and not away from you when you go backwards it's going to go away from you you see that instead of toward you normally those commands will be reversed um, left is right and right is left so that's what you need to master so you don't get confused and have a mishap. So we're gonna bring the drone down a little bit. And there you go, now you're looking at me. You can see me clearly. And again, this is it. This is, this is the best thing you could do if you really wanna explore different avenues, different doors opening in your photographic experience. Listen, you cannot do this unless you have access to a 57 story building or something. There's no way you're gonna be able to get access up that high anywhere you want as long as you abide by the laws of course but 
this will open up huge avenues for you and the experience is going to be unforgettable there's a big contrail right above me there's a jet right over there that i could be photographing if i wanted to all i would have to do is rotate the drone and aim the camera up there are some doves on my roof right now i could be photographing them so consider that this is a very fun fun and relaxing and stress-free hobby or craft to get into if you decide to get into this on the professional level then you have to take an exam and that way you will be licensed by the faa and then you will be able to use this as a commercial venture for many things what can you do you can do real estate photography you can do inspections of towers you can do inspections of power lines um, high tension wires all sorts of things you can uh, inspect structures that are being built during various phases uh, you can do mapping which is very very big right now you can do surveying and of course you can do search and rescue with those thermal drones it's it's amazing it is a multi-billion dollar industry 2020 is going to be huge regardless of what the faa puts out it's still going to continue to grow it's a very important brand new technology it's only about 10 years old my friends and right now it's growing exponentially so consider it hit me with a comment and ask me any questions that you may be pondering right now about this type of photography and what the easiest way to get into this would be i'll turn you on to that i also have an affiliate page with amazon that i have a few of these products available for you all right thank you so much don't forget to subscribe share and like happy flying happy shooting from up high bye bye everybody